there was terrible terrorist attack yesterday in Toronto, a van attack, a guy plowed into a crowd of pedestrians with a stolen van. It's something of an urban phenomenon now, postmodern phenomenon. I won't say we're getting used to it, but it doesn't shock us the way that it might have, say, in the 1970s or something. Um, fellow's name is Alec Manassian. Do you get the impression sometimes when, when you first hear the news, you have a gut-level reaction? When most of us hear the news that this has happened, we get a gut-level reaction. We piece together a bunch of dots in our mind and we say, yes, this has happened again. Um, I think that this is a normal human reaction because we want to somehow categorize and understand and analyze crazy things like this, right? We want to understand them. So we sort of catalog them. We place them in a part of our consciousness. In this case, it would not have been completely without reason for someone to say, yes, another disenfranchised, isolated um, Muslim who's really a nihilist has gone crazy and killed a bunch of people and then turned himself in. We have really nobody to visit our wrath or our um, sense of victimhood upon, except a lone lunatic. Um, but at least if he belongs to a certain problem community, at least we can make sense out of things. We can say, okay, I, it's this issue again. Now, Alec Manassian, I don't know the guy, but that's not a Muslim name. That sounds to me an awful lot like an Armenian name, and the Armenians are not Muslims. In fact, they're kind of the opposite, really. <clears throat> now, He may yet be a convert or something we don't know, or I don't know. But I get the distinct impression that some people are disappointed that he hasn't turned out to be a Muslim. Now think about that. I'm not trying to attack people who might feel that sense of disappointment that Alec Manassian, the the uh, bus ram or the van ramming terrorist is not a Muslim. Um, I'm not saying that it's unreasonable for people to think that there's a good chance that he was, because we've you know, we've seen this happen before, right? <clears throat> but what if he isn't a Muslim? What do we do now? Do we sort of go, well, okay, that was an exception to the rule, and that's just a lone lunatic, and stop thinking about the issue again and think about something else like hockey um, or how much we hate our prime minister or something like this? Or do we keep asking ourselves questions? Do we really have this whole crazy world figured out the way we thought we did. We thought it was just Muslims and immigrants that are screwing things up for all of us. Or were we just scapegoating all along? The same way that I guess elements in the Muslim community are scapegoating us. They don't want to examine themselves and see the failures and the flaws in their own civilization, so they blame the West for everything, and we do the same thing to them. <clears throat> now what are we going to do? You know, it's the, um, when the Yitzhak Rabin was killed by, by a Jewish assassin, when the Oklahoma City Federal Building was blown up by a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Um, what do we do about this? Well, 
scapegoating is wonderful until it stops working. And then all you do is you're just building human bonfires to solve the problem that you have completely misidentified. We want to think we have a lock on this world. We want to think we understand it. And if reality doesn't measure up to what we expect it to be, we alter reality or we make excuses. Say this is the exception to the rule and the rule still holds. You'd think we've learned not to do this sort of thing. Um, perhaps we have, because I don't see angry mobs of people burning crosses in front of mosques right now. Um, and I'm not really sure that they would have done so, even if the person had been a Muslim that went on the terrible attack yesterday. But something along those lines, metaphorically or verbally speaking, it could have happened. We want a clear, identifiable, present danger. But the, but the world in reality doesn't owe us this. The world just is the way it is.